Hey Aquarius, how you doing? Gonna be doing your reading here for the first week of April, the 4th to the 10th. Hope you guys are doing well. And uh, let's get right into it. Let's see what's going on for you guys. And um, it could be love, it could be career. Um, let's just see what the energy is like here. And take it from there. Let's see here. Take what resonates, leave the rest in the dust. Don't make up a story that is not yours, all right? So let's see here. We got going on for you guys. We do have the Ace of Wands that comes out as your first card here. So Ace of Wands, you know, th this is a, you know, this could be a new passion of beginning into something. Okay, it doesn't have to be romantic, but, um, you know, it's a new idea, new creative idea, something that you're really passionate about, something that you really want. Okay, um, so maybe it hasn't, you know, hasn't happened yet or you're definitely thinking about it. Um, but it's 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 something that you're you're heavily thinking about, wanting to create something new for yourself. Um, let's see. We do have the Ten of Swords that comes out here. This is your energy, um, so we'll have to see what that's all about. So it could be that you're in this sense of, um, you know, scared to move forward in a certain direction because maybe you have been backstabbed, betrayed, lied to in the past. Here, um, let's see. We do have the Chariot, so it's nice to see. Actually, we got couple of cards that come out seven of wands and the chariot okay so seven of wands energy here you know this is being a defensive you know having your defenses up okay uh, but you can see her in the card she's she's got her defensive up in a situation but she's not letting a lot of noise um you know distract her from anything and then you have the chariot so there is some sort of movement here forward let's dig in deeper um, and see what all this is about here. Let's see what the Ace of Wands is about here for Aquarius. We have the Five of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. I think you're just kind of letting go of the, the past. Uh, like truly letting go of the past here. Yeah. The wheel. So something turns, okay? So there, there's a sense that you are... You know, for some of you guys, maybe you're just thinking like, oh, you know, I let go of the past a long time ago. But I think like really deeply you're letting it go like the, like the attraction levels have dropped off like there's a lot of like i don't feel for that person anymore or that situation doesn't have to be romantic all the time um, but there's a sense of letting go of anything that has not worked for you five of cups and moving towards something that has worked for you or going to work for you it's something that you feel very good about the wheel turns in your favor let's see what this ten of swords about i think you're just scared the ten of swords kind of pulls out and says you know i'm scared to kind of get into something new right now because i don't want to be hurt again you know uh, let's see the Ten of Swords. We do have the Four of Wands that comes out here. Um, so there's a potential chance of stability or at least starting something new here somewhere. Um, for some of you guys, let me get one more card. We have the Hangman, Pisces Energy here. So, you know, it is calling for you to, you know, step back and really um, look at things differently uh, from a different viewpoint. Just kind of look at things of like, how things, how you've approached situations, you know, in the past and uh, how you want to approach this new situation or this new journey of yours, okay? So maybe it's like even down to like the people, the type of people you've dated, the people you've associated with. I um, mean, if this is a work situation, maybe you used to be the yes person all the time. Everyone, they, you know, they say, hey, can you take care of this? You always said, yeah, but you didn't really take into account the stuff that you already were doing, you know? Um, so it's kind of this, this other, um, you know, changing things to where you're using tact, to communicate as well okay swords is about communication um and the four of wands and the hangman just tells me you're going to be you're, you're going to be looking at a different um like i said viewpoint of it okay so let's see the seven of wands here it's something you're working on though something you're definitely working on um it's like trusting people again at the same time here let's see the seven of wands uh, we do have the star. That is your energy here. So you're not letting any sort of negativity or gossip or anything kind of bring you down here. We have temperance at the bottom, Sagittarius energy. Um, so, but with you, you know, the star here, you're kind of moving towards things that make you happy. You're, you're kind of in your energy here, and you're, at least you're choosing to be in your energy now. Um, so that's kind of the kickoff here for April. Let me get one more card on the star. We have justice. Yeah, making a choice here. So you know, you kind of have this understanding that you are going to make the uh, decisions that benefit you. Um, and you kind of have this this inner knowing that whatever has been done to you in the past, th those people, those situations, 
um, you know, you're letting the universe just take care of that. And you're kind of moving towards you taking care of yourself and uh, and feeling good about it. Because the Seven of Wands, like I said in this picture, she's kind of just sitting there and saying, you can say whatever you want to say, but I don't care. You know, I'm not going to let that get to me anymore. Um, so that's kind of the energy that you're you're getting into in the week um, or you're just going to get into. Let's see what the chariot's all about. This is cancer energy here. We have the Ace of Swords. You're moving towards more clarity, moving moving yourself towards um, a more truthful situation, a truthful journey for you, okay? Um, but it's a sense of clarity, a sense of like uh, things clearing up in general for you. You have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords. There's a lot of newness here in your reading, okay? You get one more card on the Ace of Swords. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So you have... Um, a, a sense of clarity of like what you want, meaning your stability, your finances, and things like that. And the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. So this is you here. This is you kind of focusing on your, on you, your money. And you have Six of Wands, Victory, Leo energy here, okay? Um, so it's just a sense of you really moving towards stability and finances and worry, you know, not worried, but kind of focusing on being successful, you know? That's really what it is here. Um, so for some of you guys, maybe is, you know, maybe you are looking for another job. Maybe you are starting a new business or maybe a current position. You're going to talk to your managers about, you know, a raise, something like that. But again, it's an energy of you making it happen. Um, I think Leo's reading was similar. It was like this energy of needing to get up and change. You, you have to make the changes necessary for your happiness. Okay. It's not, someone's not going to come here and just give you, a, uh, you know, silver platter with stuff on it and say, here's your happiness. You, you're going out and getting it. You're fighting for your happiness is what it, what I see here. And you're moving towards like, look at this sense of clarity towards your 10 of pentacles. This is financial, um, you know, independence. This is a family life. This is the, um, you know, your definition of happiness as well. We don't have the 10 of cups, but you know, the 10 of pentacles is stability financially as well. So, uh, but you're feeling very appreciative and victorious here. So, um, that is the energy that you're moving towards. Um, but again, when we focus on mainly next week, I feel like that you're just kind of um, needing to, you're working on your emotions, you're working on things that have not worked, and you're really letting go of those situations is what I'm seeing here. You're, you're really focusing and working on yourself to let go of things that didn't work and don't expect them to come back or that situation to come back and focusing your time and energy on you and focusing on the future. And that energy is really kind of focusing or at least putting you towards that direction of being successful. That's really what I see. All right, Aquarius. So that's your weekly snapshot here. And um, hit the like, subscribe if you guys have not already. And uh, until next time, we'll see you. You guys have a good one.